A little while back, WorkerKit.com got in contact with me and asked if there was anything I would like to review from their website. So I thought about it and realized that I have an Omega kit on pre-order for the long shot, and I don't really have the things necessary to complete that long shot, namely a bump grip. So I searched the website and found one that looked like something that would be worth testing, and WorkerKit.com sent it to me for review. So let's, uh, almost there. There we go. A nice new worker pump grip kit from workerkit.com. And this is, I think, the newest version that Worker has put out. Uh, I remember seeing images of it and uh, thinking this one looked like it may be comfortable because it didn't have the Picatinny rail on the bottom and looked like it would fit a larger hand well. And that's, that's the one we went with. Actually, in, in hand off the bat, it feels pretty good, but we've got to put this on the actual long shot before we have really any idea. Uh, off the bat though, as I drop the bars, off the bat though, one of my major concerns with the uh, worker long shot kits is they all have these knobs on the priming bars that I don't really like, I'm not a fan of. I like the cleaner finished edges of like uh, the Gavin Fuzzy version or even the Explorer version, things like that. But I've had people say that they do this so that if you have a super heavy spring load, it can help you prime it if you can't prime it with the pump grip. But I don't know, we'll see once we get in here. Uh, again, this is stock currently, the Omega kit I'm still waiting on, but it'll give us a decent idea and I can share at least the comfort portion with you. So let's get into that. About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. That was far easier than I anticipated or expected. Uh, honestly, the most difficult part was probably just getting the blaster open, taking out all the screws, which is time consuming. But seriously, it um, it went pretty, pretty easily just unscrewing the bipod, pulling those out, um, and then prying off the, you know, standard priming bar, which can be a bit of a hassle just because you always feel like you're gonna like break something or snap like push down too hard in the shell or something but it popped out without too much of an issue just got stuck the bar got stuck on the hammer but that's my own silliness um so yeah as far as the grip goes itself it, it screws in pretty well the bars feel nice and sturdy they have a little bit of give to them which is probably a good thing so they don't you know potentially snap or something like that uh the grip is fully 3d printed but uh, it's, it's, it's got a little bit of that, you know, layering feeling that you have, but I'll probably sand this down at some point. Again, not the biggest fan of these knobs because it just kind of takes away from the aesthetic of something, but uh, it, it, I mean, it works. I've got a six clip in here because, well, it's, uh, it's a long shot CS6, so figure why not grab a mag that has six darts and, oh, ha. Huh. So when I tested this, it worked fine, but uh, how did that even happen? All right, I'm really talented. I meant <laughs> the dart head came off the dart in the breach, so the foam is stuck in the breach, and that's why it didn't fire. 
So, I was firing this and it, it does function. Let me see if I can get this dart out, but the grip overall is actually a little more comfortable than I expected. I wasn't certain with some of these harsh lines. My, my one issue so far is this angle right here. It does kind of like, it gives me a spot to put the, the joint in my thumb on, which is kind of nice and to rest my index finger. So those are nice, but I may sand it down just a little bit to smooth it out so it's not as hard of an edge. Um, again, this is a stock spring. I don't have uh, the higher power springs in yet, but I will in the few, oh, it did come out, nice. Um, but, it, I just wanted to give you an idea, a general idea of my thoughts, because I'm always concerned about comfort when it comes to these grips, because you're going to be priming over and over and over again with these. So you want them to be comfortable. You don't want them to be digging into your hand and in, you know, over time. And what's important to note is everyone's hand is different. So everyone may have a slightly different preference on what kind of grip to go with. I have long fingers and a relatively large hand. So this may work better for me than it may work for other people, but it's good to have some insight into uh, whether or, or which ones may or may not work for you. Now, I'm very much looking forward to making this a fabulous blaster once we have the Omega kit. And I get a couple other things, I think, to kind of get it just right. But this is an integral part, a key part so thank you, Worker Kit, for sending this my way. I am more impressed than I thought it would be. Like, honestly, I thought I was going to have a lot of issues with this, but I really actually like it. Now, I still would like to get rid of these and have some other sort of end cap on here, but that's something that maybe I can find a solution to on my own. Uh, this is a kit that I'll put the price up somewhere on the screen, maybe right over here. Something I do like as well is that it does come with extra screws to each of extra type of screw so that if you lose them or something happens, you don't, you know, you're not completely out of luck. You can have some extras to work with. Um, I am going to see maybe if I can get a wrap of some kind to put on these metal bars because the black won't quite match. And I'll probably paint this in the future. Uh, but overall, I'm... I, I really like that they did away with the Picatinny on that they had in the other version and gave you just this little bit of a hand stop at the bottom here. It's actually, it, it, I, I actually think they did a really good job with this design and took some time with it. It's got some extra texture here to kind of help your hands grip onto. I'm, in, I'm, I'm more impressed than I thought I would be. So I'm going to have a link to this down below if you want to take a look at it. Um... I'm, I'm, yeah, I honestly thought I was not going to like this. I went into this thinking it's, it's, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be what I want, but I'm pleasantly surprised. So let me know what your experiences have been with worker, uh, pump grips for long shot kits. I think they have three different ones now. So let me know which ones you've used, which ones you want to use or which other ones you like from other companies. But regardless, like I said, the link down below will be to the workerkit.com, uh, listing for this product. Uh, thank you again to them for sending this my way. And if you uh, have any questions or thoughts or ideas, leave them down below as always. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.